And good day, Ollie. Hey. Um, just a, a sort of general question. The season's over now and you look to the to the off season. This could be a, a wild one. How much uncertainty is there with you and how much curiosity is there with just what this summer may hold and what this team may look like in the fall? Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a big summer, so uh, I'll be following, see what's going to happen here. Obviously, I wanted to go uh, in the right direction, you know, and for us, I think it's important that we just have a, uh, you know, a good season next year so we don't take a step back again. So I want to take a step forward, and obviously there's uh, probably going to be some moving parts this summer, um, coaching and, I don't know, players and so on. So, uh, no, it's exciting. How different does it feel, I guess, already with a, a Felino Savard gone and with Tortorella uh, not back? Just it's going to be so vastly different around here for you. Have you thought about that or and are you looking forward to a fresh start or is it going to be weird to not have those voices sort of permeating the hallways? Uh, it's a bit of both. I mean, it's, uh, you know, uh, Savvy and Fliggy are obviously, you know, have been big parts of the team since I've come here. So, um, you know, you relied on those guys to be, uh, you know, vocal in the locker room and, and take the lead in a lot of situations. So, um, yeah, it's going to be weird, but, you know, it's how it goes in hockey. You guys are going to move on or, and so on. So now other guys have to step up, but it'll be, it'll be interesting to see, you know, um, some guys are going to have to f uh, fill their spots and, um, It'll be exciting, and as far as uh, obviously towards, I mean, yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be different too. So um, it's obviously going to be missed, but at the same time, it's uh, the only coach I've had in NHL. So uh, also excited to to try something new and see what that is. Holly, in the history of this franchise, only two players have ever led the way in goal scoring in two in successive years: a guy named Rick Nash and and Oliver Bjorkstrand. Um, First, where do you think your game has gotten to in recent years and how much more room is there between your head and the, and the top of the ceiling of, of your game? How much better can you be yet? Um, no, I feel like every year I've been trying to take steps. And, um, you know, I thought last year was a good start for me to take that, that you know, a, a big step, especially when Panarin left. So uh, we need a little bit more goal scoring, a little bit more or it gave an opportunity for me to take more ice time. And, you know, I, I feel like I grabbed it. And again, this year, I just try to do the same thing. So, um, you know, I've been happy with that, the way it's gone for me, but still think there's room for improvement. And, um, you know, again, next year, I want to take a, another step and uh, be even more consistent and, and score more and, and all that. So uh, that's uh, definitely something I'm be focusing on this summer. And you, you no longer have to maintain NHL protocol, so you're not like on house arrest anymore. What's the first thing you're going to do? How are you going to celebrate your newfound freedom? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how to answer that. It's uh, yeah, it's going to be weird here in the next few weeks uh, where you don't have to do the testing and and all that stuff. I, I don't know. Thanks, Ollie. Okay, next we'll go to Justin Hobrock. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Oliver. After the last game, John mentioned this was a season about learning, and, and he said he learned a lot of things as a coach, and he, he said he hoped the players learned something as well. I wonder what it is that, that you learn and, as a collective group and, and you personally throughout the season. Um, I don't know. For me, it was uh, since I came on the team, I've been fortunate that we had a good team and we've been a playoff team, so – for me, it's just been, uh, I don't know, learn how to handle the ups and downs uh, to this extent, you know, and especially here in the end when you're not, uh, when you're not able to make the playoffs, you know, I don't know. I feel like just kind of being aware of uh, maybe some of the the reasons why we weren't able to play better. So it's, it's stuff I'll be able to, um, you know, uh, remind myself of and, and realize what we need to do better next year. Thank you. Okay. Next, we'll go to Clay Hall. Go ahead, Clay. Hey, Oliver. What What did the Blue Jackets need, or what do you want in a new coach? Um, I'm not sure. I, I haven't thought much about it. Uh, I don't know. Um, 
Would you I don't like know how to answer? Yeah. No. I don't know. I mean, I, I'd say I hope we, we, we got to remember a lot of the stuff uh, towards uh, taught us here, you know, about hard work, battling, um, you know, just the right way to play. But I, I don't know. A new coach, I'm hoping they can bring some um, added uh, features to, to, to what he has taught us here in the culture um, so we can build on it. So um, I'm not sure specifically what yeah. those things would be, but um, no, I, we just need to build on this and, uh, you know, try to improve. Do you think it uh, would be a good thing for the team, uh, the players, a small group, perhaps leadership, just to have some input or some suggestions, et cetera? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing um, to ask the guys. I mean, um, you know, um, yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing. At the end of the day, it's uh, obviously, um, you know, your most decision and, and all that, but I don't think it's, I never think it's a bad thing asking around to see, uh, you know, um, what guys are thinking. Got you. Thank you. Okay. Next, we'll go to Jeff Svoboda. Go ahead, Jeff. Thanks, Glenn. Uh, thanks, Ali, for doing this. Uh, Porty was just asking about the protocols and you're, you having, I guess, freedom now. Uh, but just how tough was it to go through the season? Just because, I mean, I know the bonding time was kind of reduced. It was, you were guys were kind of, you go on the road, you're stuck in your hotel rooms. I mean, obviously you're not going to complain with it being, you know, you're, they're still playing hockey for a living, but at the same time, just so much of the part of what's a normal season just wasn't there. I mean, was that harder mentally to deal with and people maybe realize, or than maybe even you expected going into the season? Yeah, it was draining at times. Um, you know, a big part of, uh, I don't know, connecting with, with the guys on the team is a lot of times would you end up doing on the road or, you know, going to dinners and so on, you know, and really socializing. So um, that part was kind of taken away and it's, uh, you know, you didn't really connect the same way with the guys. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, it was draining at times, you know, it was the same for every team, but uh, no, it, it was hard. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully a more normal season uh, next year. Um, yeah, say so hopefully things will kind of be bet much more normal this year. And as you look forward, uh, you know, you look around this locker room, obviously this was not the season you all had hoped for, but there are still guys like you, there's Seth Jones, there's Zach Wierenski, Line A, Domi, Atkinson, I could keep going here. But I mean, with, with the talent you do have on hand, do you feel like there is a possibility for this to be kind of you know, a one-year blip and maybe a quick turnaround next year, depending on what happens this offseason? Yeah, I think so. I think we have a lot of good pieces. Um, so, you know, I'm not worried about us, uh, you know, not being able to take that next step and, and get back into playoffs. I think we have the pieces, um, but it takes hard work, you know, with, with the guys here and guys have to be committed to, to want to take that step uh, forward again. And um, I don't think it'll be easy, but I think we have the pieces. And, um, you know, I also think it'll help when Gus comes back uh, next season. So I'm excited about next year. You know, I, I think uh, it's a good opportunity for us to uh, prove ourselves and, you know, that we should be in the playoffs and we're, we're not just going to take a step back. Thanks, Oliver. Appreciate it.